Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm uh, going to speak about replacing uh, the battery in this uh, memory expansion card. Uh, this is uh, from my IBM 5150. I previously recorded a video with the different boards uh, from my IBM 5150 system. Uh, but uh, this particular board probably uh, deserves a video in itself to look uh, more in depth at these uh, chips here. But today I will uh, focus on uh, replacing this battery here. Uh, this is used for uh, storing the value of the real time clock uh, and not. Uh, for additional settings, so it's not like a BIOS battery in a modern computer. Uh, but still it's uh, important in order to store the time. So, um, well, let's see how to remove it. I will use this small uh, screwdriver, it has some holes. We'll push this gently under the battery. Uh, lift it a bit, uh, then uh, you can uh, either remove it uh, by hand or, in my case, uh, with this one. I grab it and take it out gently. So this is actually a CR25 battery, uh, CR2325, uh, sorry. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have uh, at hand this exact battery, but I have a CR2320. So before uh, inserting it, I uh, also printed the data sheets for the two batteries. So this is uh, for the 2325. Uh, we see it's a 3 volt battery. Uh, this uh, first value here, 23, uh, it stands for the diameter, so how large uh, this battery is. So we have 23 millimeters across. Uh, and uh, the second pair of numbers to 5. This uh, actually uh, stands for the thickness of the battery. So uh, we have here uh, 2.5 uh, millimeters. Now, uh, the battery that I have available, the 2320, uh, it's again a 3 volt battery. Uh, and uh, we have again 23 millimeters in diameter. And we can see it's uh, the same size. However, uh, it only has uh, two millimeters thickness, so it should be uh, slightly uh, less uh, thick, but it shouldn't be a problem uh, since uh, we have uh, this uh, piece of metal here that's uh, quite pressing on the battery, so it should be okay. Uh, also, if we look at um, the data sheets some more, I will try to put the two data sheets like this for comparison. Uh, we see uh, the initial battery, 2325, uh, had a nominal uh, a rated capacity of uh, 190 uh, milliamps hour, uh, while uh, the second one uh, has 150 uh, milliamps hour. So there is a slight difference here. Uh, however, if we look at the discharge performance here, uh, I would say they are pretty much the same and uh, we expect more or less the same lifetime from the two batteries. Uh, also, I plan to measure the battery, so um, remember uh, it should be uh, 
three volts. So let's see uh, the old battery that I removed from the board. So it has 2.96. Uh, so if we look again at the data sheet, uh, we see it's uh, around here. So it may still have some lifetime left, but I'm sure how much. Uh, well, the new battery, it's, it has 3.31 uh, volts. And again, from the data sheet, you see uh, it's uh, right here, in the beginning, where uh, it has a bit more voltage, but uh, this is expected to drop to about 3 volts. Uh, rather soon. Okay, so uh, I will uh, now introduce the new battery. So you should just slowly uh, push it in position, make sure it uh, stays in there. And uh, that's pretty much the entire procedure. So thank you for watching and uh, if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.